Hey, welcome to Wednesday. Let's jump right into the headlines, shall we? <clears throat> the morning after. Hold on. Let's read the whole headline here. The morning after. Dyson's new laser equipped vacuum. Yeah. It's just like the Mars Perseverance rover. Um, something gets in its way and it just wants to shoot it. A little rock, Legos, small pet. Ah, yes. The sweetest summer vacations. Sailing around the San Juan Islands. Arr, true. Sailing around the San Juan Islands. Be pretty, it be. Mindful though you be. This beware feet are washing up on shore in the Pacific Northwest. Scurvy pirate peg leg, says I. A watchful eye you must have in the shallow coves of the San Juan Islands. What? It was a mystery that was solved a while ago, dude. The, the feet thing. It's not it's not people running out of peg legs. <sighs> that dude. Alright. Across the nation, a Native American coffee movement is brewing. Yeah, I knew there was hope for the coffee. <laughs> All right, so it is Wednesday and it is hump day and it is the day that Ray gives us three jobs. So as we're talking about refocusing and motivation, here's a way to do it as well. Feeling stuck? Feeling down on the dumps? Check out Raise Three Jobs. Should really ask Gary to create a character to do a sales pitch. He did much better than that. He was very good at that. Anyway, yeah, so one of the ways, like I said, if you're out of your routine, you got out of your routine and it's just driving you crazy, you gotta get some positives going. You watch the movie and it's funny, that's a positive thing. You get a couple positive things lined up in a row, all of a sudden you're feeling positive. You get back on the routine and you're checking things off your daily routine list, staying on track makes you feel positive. So doing this one thing, writing down one of these jobs that Ray gives us, emailing Zach, it's two things, doing a little research, three things. Those three things are positives. So if you're kind of feeling like you're down in the dumps, do those three things. You'll feel better afterwards because you accomplished a few things. Only a few, but very good things that's going to lead to other things down the road. Zach's going to email you back. And you guys are going to have a conversation about positive things. Positivity leads to more positivity. There are setbacks. It's just the way it goes. But it's how we get out of those setbacks. How do we deal with those setbacks? That's what sets us apart sometimes from others. The difference between the person that gets the job and the person that doesn't get the job most of the time is the person that gets the job tried to get the job. The person that didn't get the job didn't try that hard to get the job. Just like this cool cat right here. He learned his lesson. He messed around, didn't email Zach. He was feeling down in the dumps. All of a sudden, he said, you know what? I'm just gonna do that one thing I didn't do the first time. I'm gonna email Zach. He got the job. He's been doing pretty good. He's got some bumps in the road. He's you know, getting retrained. So, you know, we saw him last week. He got some retraining, NOTP for you. This week, let's see what he's doing. Let's see how he's doing. Maybe he's got some, maybe he's like a superstar salesperson now in that little store is. Uh, well, guess what? I'll see you there. You know, we'll get there for burgers and 
some things you know talking on the phone while you're supposed to be watching the store probably not a good idea just saying we'll see plus those little jawas man i mean they can be a little sneaky to start with so you always gotta have your eyes out anyway that was notp for you thank you for that now let's check in on those three jobs from ray right here jobs you can get yourself out of a funk with or continue your positive streak of getting things done using your grit springing into action all right so check those out email zach he will help you out all right moving right along into the national day of let's see what amazingness will be today's national day good morning everybody here we are Wednesday, you know, hump day. And it's the last day of the month. It is March 31st. <sighs> One more month gone. A quarter of the year is gone. One fourth. Wow. But anyway, the national day today is National Tater Day. You know, the tater. It comes in so many different forms. There's mashed taters. There's baked taters, there's fried taters, which you can call french fries. There's all gratin taters. There's twice baked potatoes. There's scallop potatoes. I could go on and on and on. Taters, man, what don't we like about a tater? You know, you can do everything with a tater. You can have, it's the one thing you can have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can have taters in the form of a hash brown mm. in the morning. You can have french fries in the afternoon. And then at dinner time, a plethora of taters from mash, boil them. I could, I could just keep coming up with more and more things on the tater. I love me a tater. Mm, just the thought of it. What kind of tater can I have today? They even put taters in tacos. And it's not Taco Tuesday, it's Wednesday for the tater. Who knew? But go out and fix yourself some taters today. And don't make them look ugly like they're runny mashed taters out of those instant things. Make some real taters. Show us your taters today. If you fry them, you bake them, you boil them, you broil them, whatever you do. But have a tater today on National Tater Day. Uh, tater Day. Oh, like a tater tots? Why does he always have to bring in the food, man? Always with the food and the Gabrielli and the food. Although, I do watch the the morning routine thing. And uh, the Carl man, always with the food headlines. Uh, too much food around here and not enough Bobo to go around. <laughs> Ah. 
So it was tater day. Go get yourself some taters. <laughs> Actually, I like taters. Don't mind me, no, no. All right, moving right along into what? What do we do on Wednesdays next? We go back in the past. Beard and past with Zach. Hello everybody out there. My name is Anthony Ross. It's been a long time no see. A long time no see. Um, I just hope everyone is having a good day out there. Um, I just want to thank Zach for taking this opportunity to help me with my resume. And if he, he can help you out too with your resumes if you're, if you're getting help and you're wanting to get out and about and look for a job. I know all of us have been pretty cooked up in our house with nothing to do. So I want to take this opportunity to Zach to help have him help me with my resumes. And so hopefully we can eventually look out for jobs for me. And we can look out for jobs for you guys too. So if you guys need any help or looking for jobs, make sure you guys message Zach whenever you can. And make sure you guys tune in for the morning routines because there's more stuff to come. Very, 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 very good. All right, so that is it for Wednesday. Keep working on getting yourself out of a funk, getting back into your routines, working on things, staying motivated, staying positive. It's not always going to work. You're gonna fail. You're gonna feel down in the dump sometimes. It's how you choose, you choose, <laughs> to get out of those funks, okay? Take actions, bring into action to watch a comedy and get yourself going, to make yourself some popcorn, to give yourself that treat to get yourself back in that routine, right? All right, so that is it for Wednesday, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. One o'clock, Zach's gonna hammer some more of this home, and we'll see you then. Beyond that, for the morning routine, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.